I'm going to show you how I mould a molar. Let's have a look. Hi, I'm Under Hyder. This is Under Construction, and today I'm going to show you how I took a Goliath Mauler and turned it into this. So my first reaction when seeing the Goliath Mauler revealed was that what in the Masters of the Motherfucking Universe is this? Uh, it put me in mind of what would happen if there was an unholy union between the Roton and the Road Ripper. Uh, that's my point of reference because I'm an old man and I used to like E-Man. Uh, my second thought was, if you cut that track off the back, could you stick a big fat wheel on the back and then it would look a little bit like Judge Dredd's Lawmaster or Canada's bike from Akira through a grimdark lens. And then I got the kit in hand and you kind of can. So if you want to turn two models into one, uh, costing you a lot of money in the process, uh, negating one of the special rules included in the Goliath Mauler, which was a hybrid drive, which allows you to use either the track or wheel locomotion trait to navigate different kinds of terrain. Then follow on. Okay, so here's a look at the sprues, because I know people like to see that. Lots of cool little bits on there. Uh, not many spares, to be fair, but uh, I do appreciate the fact that they've given us um, four different heads to use for the two different bikes which is pretty cool and obviously you could adapt them to stick them onto your your other gangers i suppose although the neck mount's quite unusual really like the crew though they're really well sculpted um yeah just a quick little look over the entirety of the sprue there there's lots of potential for kit bashing and conversion and just flip it over and let you have a look at the back there Right, I'll talk you through the basic steps on how I did what I did. So you're going to cut the two halves of the main body of the mauler out. There you go, that's the left hand side, the right hand side. You can stick these together, but it makes it easy if you don't. Uh, and cut the two tracks out as well that go over, the, um, over that back triangular bit there. And we're just going to cut down the back here behind this seat really carefully so as to preserve that top and sh um, shell section that covers the track we're going to we're going to want all four bits that come off the two track bits and the two body bits and we're going to cut away all the excess just leaving a like tick shape upside down tick shape that creates that shell that would go over the um the hood and again on these parts as well we're just going to cut away any track that you can see just leaving that like vent and scoop shape and then yeah clippers saw knife whatever it is just take your time and you can clip that away really cleanly and essentially you'll be left with four bits of shell and you stick them together and they'll look something like this uh, i'm just utilizing this as a way to differentiate the front from the back of the vehicle as uh, obviously i'm using two front wheels and i'm trying to change the image as much as possible uh, i've just added two bits of styrene underneath uh, ready to attach it to the back of this seat area so yeah pretty straightforward but uh, quite nice uh, I've left underneath fairly rough but that's getting painted black it won't be seen by anyone you could obviously spend more time and fill that with putty or cover it with styrene I just sand it down a lot more firmly but it really I didn't feel it was necessary for this particular job Okay, so we followed the build instructions in the leaflet uh, up to this stage essentially. So the main body and the front of the mauler. Um, obviously that's what it looks like with the track removed from the back. And then we're going to follow those instructions again. But we're going to add the power ram and leave the top section off. Because we're going to flip it over. And that's going to become the back wheel and then you can see that the two pieces will be connected like this using styrene so already i'm getting the shape that i want that kind of big beefy lawmaster shape and that's roughly how it'll sit when it's together obviously it'll have that scoop on the back which just changes the silhouette a little bit looks a bit like um a spoiler or somewhere 
you could store a few small items and uh, speaking of styrene this is the section that will close off uh, the view to the wheel at the back I've just added some cambers so it looks like a nicer finish and a couple of little details of styrene strip just to add some interest it's mainly hidden behind the seat to be fair and that's just going to sit there and it's just going to hide the fact that the wheels aren't completely uh, circular and there's a little flat bit so I'll just hide that uh, and this mallet shape just goes in underneath to make that one solid piece and then that lip that sticks out the uh, peg that sticks out is going to attach under the rest of the um, the mauler. Right, and as far as steering goes, this is kind of how I imagine it would steer. And there we have it, a Goliath style lawmaster slash Canada's bike from Akira. Really fun kit to work with. This was a really easy kit bash, so. If you do have a go at trying it yourself, let me know, and I hope you like it. Okay, I hope somebody found that useful or interesting. If you did, let me know in the comments below. That'd be awesome. Um, yeah, but the mall is a really cool kit. Um, as you can see, with some very simple changes, I've changed it completely. Um, you could also put a massive track on, like say using the tracks off the, um, the servo haulers, or you could... Um, take four of those wheels i mean buying two kits and build like a crazy cart or like four wheel vehicle out of it which is something i'd love to do but my wallet won't allow um but yeah chuck me a like or a subscribe if you think i've earned it uh, and if you want to see a review of the cinderac burning expansion then don't forget to check out some city radio's uh, latest mini episode which should be dropping around the same time this video does uh, myself and hive scum steve have a bit more of a look at the new campaign system the new vehicles and rules uh yeah i'll chuck a link below so feel free to follow along if you like right i'll see you in the underhive. hive <laughs>